The score were yellow one and it went there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where it goes because it's only just welded. Yours is better because you've got a wrap over there. They haven't always have a wrap over. Mm. But, and then the early ones had a sealed button bracket. Yeah, I do have one of those. Yeah, I've got, know, had a sleeve. I've got a 1946 mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Tell me, when, when um, how, what do you know about the actual history of the company? Yeah, they finished in the 50s. I think they finished in 1959 yeah, or 58. 58. Yeah. And they used to have women. And if they made one up, the women used to do the spokes. Yeah. Oh, did they? Yeah. And that was all done at Park Royal? Yeah, well, think, yeah, wherever they could. They just farmed them out. Did they? See, when you see all these mates, don't necessarily think they're dating. They're whoever can get to do the job. But wasn't Dayton originally an American company? No. No, it's no. a different company. They different. used Joe Lewis to do some advertising. Yeah, that was... Oh, the boxer? Yes. Yeah. Well, yes, they did. Joe Lewis. Yeah. And do you know anything about the team? Because no, they had a team. No, it was Tolbert. Team. Yeah, Dennis Tolbert. Dennis, Dennis Tolbert was with them. Hercules, That's right, yeah, Hercules. Yeah. And, um, Dave Bedwell, I think, uh, I think. I think Red Harris wrote for Hercules before he wrote for Rally. Uh, Remember Red um, Harris? Yes. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so did you live at Park Royal in Ely? No, no, I lived in East London. Oh, East London. Yeah. Actually, they made these, just round the corner, they made bodies for Rolls Royce. Oh, did they? Park Royal. Yeah. It's all Park Royal. Course, yeah. And they made the buses. Yeah, the buses, yeah. yeah. But it's nice to see nostalgia. Do you know the best thing about your bike, and I hope you don't mind me saying so. Do you say badge. so? The badge. Yeah, I, I, lots of them That's have been... Nice badge. Lots of them have been stripped. I I've call them scalp. I've got eight badges indoors, the old ones. Oh, you've done the scalp it. <laughs> yeah, I took them with me, yeah. How long did you have at Hitchens? Oh, not long, only about five or six years. But in Tottenham, not in South End. No, Seven Sisters Road. Seven Sisters. He moved to Hamstall Road in South End. Yes. And then Alf, Alf was a barrel boy, he never made bikes. No. He just yeah. sold them. But his father Alf... And records. Eh? And records, didn't he? No, i never seen any records. He lived at Upminster. Oh. No, um, Jack Denny made the bikes, and then they farmed it out to Bob Jackson. Yes. And yes. Bob Jackson still makes the curly. Yeah, but, uh, no, they're, they're just going out of business. Are they going out of business? I think so. Who, who, who Bob Jackson. Oh, this, oh, was it? This, uh, was re, this was re-sprayed by Bob Jackson I'll about, what, about it, three it, years ago. Well, it's, it's nothing like the original because it, they, it wasn't available like but this. The transfers are gorgeous. He has... The man who bought the bike that was Black Hammerite yeah. He works, he's got a graphics shop, so he got one of his employees to take photos and make their own. He sold them now to Lloyd's. Etchins used to send all his friends to Bromar at Gallows Corner, Romford. He had, he'd had all the bikes. And I used to get very annoyed at them because we used to send our bikes and he used to put the head in the front, in the, in the vice, and then he squeezed the, the vice too much, and when the heads come back, you couldn't get the head set in because yeah. it, it crushed them. This is very care. interesting. You had to ream out the headset. Sir, yeah. can, sir, can I ask your name just so for the archive? Yeah, Dave Lee. Dave Lee, yeah. and you worked for Dayton from what de years? Oh, until about 90, until I went in the Air Force. So I got called up. When was that was then? 1959, 60. It's only uh, in your hand. I think they, your they I think they stopped making them that year. Yeah, they stopped I have a feeling, them. or even earlier, maybe. I, I haven't have seen any. I was in school, yellow one. I haven't seen any later than 1955. Actually, as yet. I could have sued them, couldn't I? You could have done. Because I had one, and, and it went there, and I come off because it just the world just went, yeah. just come away, and the faults just come away. Oh. Really? Like, you know, it's suddenly got. That's why there's so few. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Thank you very for, much, sir, for telling us the interesting on that. So did you have a Hitchens when you worked? I've still got three at the moment. <laughs> my, my grandson's got them. Yeah, nice. Yeah. He, made, um, he made Curly, but you know he made an Hellenic as well. Yes, yeah. yes, I've seen an Hellenic. Well, have, have you seen the one Hellenic. that's so Yeah, Hellenic, so ridiculous. That's why I've hung on to them. There's yeah. a bloke in Bristol got a, just got an ordinary brilliant, which is a basic mod. He wants about £3,000 just yeah. for the frame. Uh, it's and it's horrible, it hasn't even got, it's just got the grati ends, yeah. hasn't got camp egg ends, yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing. It hasn't got the, hasn't got the twin, you know the forks with the twin plates on yes, the fork? Yes. No lug work, yes. but um, he used to do all the filigree work down down there and down the fork and all the mm. long so when that, Did you build the frame from start or did you just make yeah. the forks or you did the whole thing? Um, no, we used to buy the tubing in. Yes, no, of course. And, um, and, and um, but actually, Alf copied it from Morris Selbeck. Oh, yes, yes. 
Morris Selbeck first done the curlers, and, oh, that, and then Alf. Really? Really? Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, I was know. telling that bloke with the bikes over there. Yeah. He was killed by Sam, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, Morris Selbeck made the, made the uh, curly, that? and he, he just copied them. Yeah. But the, the real cyclists, they wouldn't have touched it at a curly, would they? No, they were road straights. Yeah, the worst mm, one of all mm. was a Paris Galibia. Did you oh, ever yes. see that? <laughs> uh, Don't tell that well, to that, Andy. That, that, <laughs> what, has he got a Paris Galibia? Uh, Andy's just restoring I've, one now. Uh, Andy Dennis. Rough, there's, there's no, there's no, it's looking better than it was. So you can't get inside them, the clip. Because the, the real better frames are all bonderised inside. Yeah. yeah. Used to dip yeah. Them. They used to bonderise the Dayton's. Yeah, the black yeah, just, ones. Just the rough, there was yeah. a little sticker on them. Yeah, but someone's done you a fantastic spray job. Well, I had a quite good um, deal. He spent about £400 at Bob Jackson. He did. I didn't pay that. I paid about 250 Yeah. But and I had to come down. It's a cycle bloke here. It's a bloke got a couple of Italian bikes here. No, we haven't seen him yet. No, we yeah, haven't seen him. <laughs> Whereabouts do you live? Do you live in London now? Yeah, I live in London. My daughter lives down here, so I'm just down here for the show. Yeah, we've got an old Riley. What we I'd like to speak to you a bit more. Obviously, it's, it's a sunny day, so we're, su yeah, we're well, suffering. Give us a number, then. Um, have you got a pen on pen and paper? Well, right, I'm going to call this little... I've just recorded some of that, so thank you very much, no, Mr Lee. No, that's a pleasure, but um, I haven't seen... You're the first one I've seen with a Dayton since I... So you're very lucky surviving. Uh, thank so you very much, Don't sir. go over any bumps. Thank you. <laughs>